Hey guys, it is me, 80s from Virginia Guys. So, you guys, I want to give you guys my um, quick take on Lionel Messi winning his seventh Ballon d'Or. Now, I want to keep this short and sweet. And I know many people are going to come out in the comment section below and say Messi was, uh, Lewandowski was robbed and all of that. Okay. Let me just make this clear. Okay. Just be completely honest here. I believe Lewandowski should have won last year's award. And the reason why I don't give him this year's award in particular is because of the whole Copa America thing with Messi. I just think that him winning the Copa America was so big for his career, and he needed that, you know? And don't get me wrong, Lewandowski was amazing this year, too. I think he definitely was great. The issue is that there was no real play that was amazing this year, if I'm being honest. Like, even for Messi, like, you have to look what he did in the league. He wasn't really that great in the league. I know he got the top goal scorer, no. Okay, and I'm gonna get, try to keep this. Um, being on, I'm gonna try to be this as objective because you guys know I'm a Barcelona fan for once and foremost. But I'm gonna try to look this from an objective point of view. Messi wasn't really that great in the La Liga. I know he got the top goal score and all, but if we really look at it, he didn't win the league title. You know, then you look at what he did in the Champions League. He wasn't particularly that great. Okay, he was decent, decent to be fair, but a lot of the goals in Champions League were penalties. Only one goal he scored in open play. And you see how much he's struggling for PSG right now. And how he hasn't been able to really click in the, for PSG. That said, though, he has come up big in the Champions League. You know, scored a brace against Leipzig. Scored a goal against Man City. You know, um, and obviously got a hat-trick of assists yesterday against that Etienne. And obviously scored a goal against, uh, was it uh, Nantes, I think it is it. So, I think it's fair to say that Messi... Had a good season. I think to say that he didn't have a good season is a is a is a is a crime. I think you have to acknowledge he was good, but he wasn't amazing. Like this wasn't the Messi that of you we saw in the past. Like this wasn't like 2018, 2019 season where that season, man, Messi was unbelievable. Messi was unbelievable that season. He was incredible as a player. You know, I mean, scored t- 12 goals in Champions League, scored 50 goals in La Liga. It was absolutely brilliant. For Robert Lewandowski, I just think that his Euros performances ultimately was the undoing for him. And I just think that his performances, the Euros, ultimately cost him in the end. And this is what I think. This is not what I this is what I believe. And this is not what I this is not what I this is not my opinion, by the way. And we saw how the weight of the um, your trophy, European trophies really sn- s- mattered. You know, you look at the top 10, for example, right? You look at Ingol Kante, you know. Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, Jorginho, you know, and I think the fact that they've been doing so well internationally was a huge reason why they would be able to get so high. You know, you look at Don Ruma, for example, won the um, won the Yashin Trophy, and I think primarily the reason why he won that was because of the fact he won those Euros um, by keeping those um, winning back to back penalty shootouts. You know, so my thing with this is this, right? Okay. I just think that for me, guys, Lionel Messi, he was just great in both club and international. And I just don't really think there's many other players that can say the same. And I know people say Lewandowski was good in the Euros still. I know he still scored three goals and all, which was pretty impressive considering how terrible the Poland team were. But then the day, guys, at the end of the day, let's keep things a stay. This is just a popularity contest. This is a popularity contest at the end of the day, and that basically everyone just votes. Every journalist votes for whoever they want, and you know, and let's be real, guys, let's be real. We all have our different opinions. We all have different opinions on who the best player is. Because someone, because if Lewandowski had won, I would have acknowledged him too. I think he deservedly, I think I would have, if Lewandowski would have won, it would make sense. The rest of the players, I didn't think deserve it. You know, maybe Benzema, I would give him some credit. But for me, Lewandowski, Lionel Messi, Benzema were the three best players in 2021. And I just think that for me, Messi's PR was so big. And that Copa America thing, I think, was just so huge for him. And I think... Him winning that Copa America just sealed everything. I think if he didn't win that Copa America, I think things would have been very, very different indeed. So, you know, as I said, you know, tough luck to Robert Lewandowski. You know, I got to give him, I got to be honest with you. I feel bad for him. You know, I, I definitely think he deserved it. He should have won last year's edition. He should have won last year's edition. And the fact that they still didn't give the award for 2020 is just a disgrace. They should have given the award 2020 to him and give this year to Messi. That's how it should have been done. But, you know, guys, you know, football isn't fair. And, you know, Lewandowski he did win a Striker of the Year award. He won the Striker of the Year award. And so, and this is just my quick take here. And that I think Lionel Messi, I congratulate him. I'm happy for him. 
seventh Ballon d'Or, and I think this is going to probably be his last Ballon d'Or. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't really think he's going to be that insane anymore. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think we're going to see Messi and Ronaldo win this thing anymore, guys. Uh, maybe Ronaldo might, but I don't think Messi's going to win it. And um, we're seeing how great in this current season, how amazing Benzema, Salah, and Lewandowski has been. Even Ronaldo is some credit, and obviously Messi as well. So, you know, I just want to give you guys my quick take upon this. You know, I did a watch along earlier today just for this. Um, on You can check it out. I did like a few, uh, like an hour ago. So you guys can check it out on the live streams, past live streams, the bottom of the section. So you guys can see my live stream that this is just more like a professional, more like edited version, more like... Um, a polished version and more like kind of like a quick reaction. So, you know, obviously, guys, I want to congratulate Lino Messi for winning the Ballon d'Or. And yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Just want to share with my thoughts real quick. So make sure you guys check out me, Mod the Pops, listen to the description below my Twitter, my Discord, my Twitch, email, etc. And make sure you guys comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And by the way, let me just say this right now. I think if Messi hadn't won the Copa America, I think Lewandowski might have won it. I think Lewandowski might have won it, guys, just so you guys know. I just think that that Copa America thing was big. And if Lewandowski had won the Champions League, for sure he won it. I think if he had won the Champions League this season, I think for sure he would have won it. But I just think that the fact that Messi won the Copa America just swinged everything to his favor, basically, in my opinion. And I also think he deserved it. I think he deserved it. I think both players deserve it, but I think Messi had a stronger case, in my opinion, this year.